The state is investigating after an officer shot a man in the chest this afternoon in northwest Florida. Police say the suspect stole two vehicles, then pulled a knife on an officer. News 5's Cody Long is live tonight on Highway 87 where it all happened. Cody? Yeah, Roseanne, Milton police say that driver just lost control and plowed right through this fence, almost landing in a holding pond. That's when he got out with a knife and the officer shot him in the chest. Police say it started when the suspect stole a vehicle in the county and drove into the city of Milton. He abandoned that car and stole this white Chevy Silverado truck. The owners flagged an officer down, leading to a chase. The officer involved shooting ended near the entrance to Whiting Field on Highway 87 near Langley Street. There's no reason to get out of a vehicle and approach an officer with any type of weapon. Police say the suspect had a knife described as one that folds and has a blade six to eight inches long. So, you know, it was dangerous to know where it could kill somebody. The suspect does have a criminal history, but we don't know the details just yet. He'll be charged for the stolen vehicles, fleeing and eluding an officer, and aggravated assault. You know, none of us want to shoot anybody. We want to help people. We don't want to harm them. And, uh, and so my officer has, uh, you know, he's experienced a lot of stress. And police are not releasing the name of the suspect or the officer just yet. We're told that the officer is doing okay physically and that the suspect will survive. Reporting live in Milton, Cody Long, WKRG News 5.